Santee Cooper presents Building the Dams. The post-depression days of the 30s were hard times for the people of America and especially hard for South Carolinians. The destruction caused by the Civil War had left the state an exhausted and ruined land, and the Great Depression virtually crippled the once proud and productive area. The Santee Cooper Project, however, proved to be a catalyst for South Carolina's re-emergence to its former prominence in American history. Bringing thousands of South Carolinians into its employ, the Santee Cooper Project included, among other things, the creation of 42 miles of dams and dikes. Working in a coordinated effort with the land clearing operations, dam builders used the most modern machinery available to assist their efforts. Huge mechanical beasts snorting and straining in the subtropical swamps cleared away trees piled in compacted dirt and clay to shape these massive earthen structures. The fruits of their labors yielded an incredibly intricate, interconnected system of dams and dikes. There were the magnificent Santee Reservoir Dams, the imposing Panopolis Reservoir Dams, and the wondrous hydroelectric power generating station and navigation lock. When the day came, the lakes were flooded, and the dams stood strong. They still stand today, a lasting testament to what the people of South Carolina can accomplish by working together.